Hey everyone, my name is Jibrin Lim Sarael, a biomedical engineering student, and I'm here to answer two questions from our week 3 discussion board. For our first question, what are the rules in grouping the terms? Mean terms or max terms? What is the largest group possible? The K map is a diagram or representation of truth table that helps in reducing variables for any Boolean expression. Each square represents one mean term or one max term of the function that is to be minimized. For placing and grouping, there are two ways. For placing and grouping respective to mean term, we follow sum of product form in which by grouping together adjacent sales containing 1 and 0 elsewhere. For placing and grouping respective to max term, we follow product of sum form in which by grouping together adjacent cells containing zeros and one elsewhere. Here are the rules for placing and grouping the terms. For our first rule, groups may be in horizontal or vertical but not in diagonal. Here's the right one and this is the wrong one. For our second rule, group must contain one 2, 4, or 8, or in general, 2 raised to n cells. Hence, the largest possible group size is 8. Here is the right one, and this is the wrong one. For a third rule, each group should be as large as possible. Here is the right one, and this is the wrong one. For our next rule, groups may overlap. Here is the right one, and this is the wrong one. And for our next rule, groups may wrap around the table. And you can refer into this image. For our last rule, there should be as few groups as possible and does not contradict with other rules. Here's the right one, and this is the wrong one. For the second question, what is rule or the basis of labeling the columns and rows of a K-map? Is there any specific code being followed? The basis of labeling the columns and rows in a K-map is through gray code that actually follows adjacency property. In K-map, Boolean operation simplification is achieved by grouping adjacent cells to reduce variables. So upon using of gray code, when we switch between adjacent literals, it only shifts one bit at a time, thus making it possible to group terms when they are similar to each other. However, when we use binary codes, it will most likely to be disjointed. For example, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, and 1, 0 in gray is having one bit of change between nearby terms. On the other hand, in binary, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Notice that in binary, 0, 1, 1, 0 both changed bits. Therefore, it is not capable or suitable for a K-map. Nevertheless, if you use binary code, it will raise synchronization issues because we need to track of multi-bit changes. Hence, in KMAP, gray code is essentially used to make the Boolean operation simplification process more favorable, making it as the basis or rule for labeling of the KMAP. 